Um, I want to play this and then we'll talk about this really quick. What do you mean? What do you mean? I love hot. You what you gonna learn from a nigga that you knocked out? All trainers ain't world champions. What are you gonna learn from somebody? How is somebody gonna teach you something that he can't even do either? Because you know what Tyson Perry said. All trainers. He said I busted. He said I broke your eyeball and broke your eyeball. Your drum. Your drum and your head drum. He said this shit is a chain reaction. He said how you gonna teach me to do something that you can't even do? But you know some trainers are that better trainers than happening. fighters. That is not happening. Have you pad, the pad, the pad don't hit back. I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying too. He looking good though. I'm saying too. The pad's not hitting back. I mean, nobody. Everybody looks at. Nobody. Everybody looks at. Everybody look good on pad. I could look like I want to. Floyd made it. Come on, run it, run it. Come here, Tone, right here, right here. I want to know. We gotta ask Wilder. And then he says, he said Tyson Fury has something in his gloves because he, nah, son, too much, ex- then the outfit, like, it's too much excuses, like, what the outfit made more than you, the shit weighed more than you, even if the outfit, well, there we go, that's some of you guys can catch that on Fight Hype, uh, here <laughs> on the YouTube channel, and the interview was done by some dude called Nestor Gibbs, um, uh, oh, he's right here, hey, what's, what's going on, bro, <laughs> so, um, Interesting interview. You, you, you happen to break the internet there, but nonetheless, uh, I mean, it didn't really, man. You know, uh, I thought it would do more numbers than what it what well, it, it just started. started. It's just, it's just, you know. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll no, see. That's... He is, you know. First and foremost, I want to say, G Funky, I know this is not the right time, but your mic sounds amazing. Shout out to you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I appreciate that. That thing is uh right, I love, right. Love yeah. it. I love it. But uh um Chris is Chris, man. Uh this is nothing new. You know, when 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 the first fight came, you know, his prediction was that way, and then the first fight happened. Second fight came, his prediction was the same way. It's just uh his voice is being heard now by more people because of the the deal that I'm doing with Fight Hype, and you know, it, the, the the video is there and more people can hear it. Uh, but this has always been him. He's always picked against Wilder. That's why in the video, not oh against Wilder, just in the Fury fight, mm-hmm. and, and that's why in the video he says, you know, that Wilder stopped talking to him. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Th- these are very personal matters for these guys. You know, a lot of ego and stuff involved. I've learned that throughout the years that these fighters are so fucking sensitive. It's insane to me. <laughs> That's crazy, man. In a sport yeah, like so- this, you can't be Mr. sensitive, man. Mr. Mungia, how's it going, brother? What's going on, fellas? Thank you. Thank you for having me on. What's going on, Mario? I'm good. I'm good, brother. Thank you all. D style, yeah. man. It's good to talk to you. Uh, man, how long have we known each other? You've been on like eight I years. I've known you, I think. Yeah, no, something not, like that. Not that Twitter. Maybe not that long. Twitter, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure, for sure. Hey, glad to have you on, man. Um, you probably already talked about this, but for the sake of my audience here, what did you make about uh, Chris Colbert and what he uh, that interview he did with Nestor Gibbs? We we didn't talk about it. Yeah, so. we didn't oh, no, talk okay. about it. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> didn't. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, actually, I mean, we did go over a couple of the, you know, like major headlines. Um, uh, what 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 was one of the things specifically that I could go off of? Um, okay, so how about the um the fact that he does not believe, you know, Wilder can beat Fury? Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was a a big item line. And he's not uh, yeah. impressed with the pad work for <laughs> sure. He was going hard pass. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, no. And and listen, he's a guy who's been on the show a bunch of times. Like, you know, he's very animated and uh, he speaks his mind. He's very open. And uh, here's the thing. I believe him in everything he says. Here's the thing. Like, I believe that just based off of my own opinions. Right. But I believe that he believes that. Like, I don't think that he's lying. I don't think that he's exaggerating. I think that he's speaking openly and honestly about the like if this was a, a a court of law and he was a lawyer, I think that he has the most substantiated evidence to back his claims up. Now, the fact that it was him that said it, I think that's what's newsworthy about it. I think that, you know, um, 
it's just not something that I think anybody would have expected for him to say. But the fact that he said it, and again, that he has that kind of evidence to back it up, it's just, I don't know. It's a tough one. Hey, Chief Funky, what, what did you make of it, bro, from what you heard right there? Oh, man. I, I mean, I agree with what he's saying, you know, 100%. Um, now, as far as the little personal jabs at, at Deontay Wilder, you know, that's obviously something between him and Wilder, you know, I, you know, that's, that's none of my business. That's between those two, whatever it is. Um, but I, I do agree. I don't think he can beat Fury in the third fight. I, I picked Wilder twice to knock Fury out. I was wrong two times. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to be fooled again. Okay. Uh, shout out to the who they won't get fooled again. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, uh, I, I just see a lot of backlash coming from this, you know, unfortunately you can't speak your mind these days. Uh, when you say something, uh, that, you know, yeah, they, I mean, I'm, I'm already hearing a hashtag. I could already see it right now. Hashtag cancel Colbert, you know, like these guys are going to go at him so hard. Um, and that's. <laughs> shame you know because he's, he's a he's a brilliant young fighter I really like what i see in this kid and um he's gonna get a lot of backlash for this but um, you know it's just the times we're living in man it sucks but i said this last night we talked about a few topics a hard truth is better than a sweet lie you know and it's better awesome. to just break the truth down to somebody than to just bullshit them their whole life candy coat shit you know so shout out to the young man for for being honest and speaking his his real thoughts man yeah, hey. it, 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 and that's hard in this day and age, you know. Now, somebody put in the chat, I you said Cobra won't be getting pushed by the black fight fans. Do you guys think that's true, or is it going to be a segment? Of the black? I mean, like look, there's going to be some hatred. Obviously, he's saying some things about a very adored fighter amongst mm -hmm. the African-American community, so he will get some resistance absolutely and he knows that he, he he has to know that you can't say what you said and not expect people to react but the thing is though is th that it's like the genius of it right because ultimately what and i mean obviously i can't speak for you know the entirety of the black fight community but i can say that they respect the their fighters that are honest and, and, and open, you know what I mean? That don't bullshit them. And here's a guy who's giving his honest take and it might not work right now. It might, it might get some backlash now, but down the line after some things have played out, right? Like you go back and you reflect on it. Like he's always been honest. He's always been the truth. He's always been a guy that you can get behind and know what you're getting behind. Exactly. Cause some guys you get behind them, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but like a Ryan. Oh, I guess I just named a name. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you you get behind him and then it's like, oh, he's pulling out of this fight. And you know what I mean? The innuendo surround. It's like that wasn't what I was paying for, you know, with this guy. But with a guy like Holbert, you get what you pay for and you understand it. And, and that kind of honesty, I think, resonates ultimately uh, more than anything else. And let's also remember he's lost in that shuffle. You know, uh, if you're a fight fan, like he's a hardcore guy still a little bit you know what i mean like the spences right. the wilders these guys have transcended into the upper uh echelon of the sport you know what i mean and and the finances of it all all that commercial commercially speaking right cobra's still not there yet so it, it's also that well it's the rawness of it too it's one thing if he would have said look i don't know i i just think wilder should focus on the fight and not make excuses and uh, I, I don't think Fury cheated, but may the best man win. It's not like he said that. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said he's looking like a sucker. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he said this dude's making excuses. You know what I mean? He said that he can't beat Fury. Like, he, he made them very matter-of-fact statements, you know, made them sound that way, that I, I don't think a lot of Wilder fans, I should say, are, are, are going to like oh, that. Said, but that, If you go to the comments... You know, it's 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 gotten ugly, though, with with the Wilder fanatics. You know, you say any little thing about this guy and and they'll come after you. You know, it's gotten ugly. I mean, look what happened with him and and Charlo. 
uh, Jermel Charlo, they they started talking violence. I got shooters and all this and that. I mean, that's just that was bad. that's just ugly, man. That's just flat out ugly, and shouldn't be. That should it should never get to that point. It's just we're just talking boxing, you know. It should never get to that point. I've seen a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, finally, oh, someone being honest. Oh, I love this interview. I love this kid. So there's gonna be some hate, but he got a lot of people there. That's like, yo, finally. You know, look, been a fan of Cobra. His honesty is refreshing. Like, some people are going to hate it, but some people are the one right above that, though. I always see Wilder's most haters look like us, so we dismiss Fury as a known cheater. Mm. And I look, mean, look at the one below, a few lines below. It says, it's a shame we, a fellow countryman, can't support their own, regardless of past, and Fury couldn't do none with a journeyman. But this is what I'm saying. See, they want you to... Like, oh, no, let's ignore everything because Wilder looks like us. That's not even right. That's weak. Man. That's like, weak, in my opinion. Yeah, weak. yeah that's, that's, that's tough logic to get behind. Yes. For sure, for sure. Apparently yeah. somebody thinks your panties were in a bunch, Ness. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Where's that one at? Oh, oh, it was oh just I saw it at the very yeah. top. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, like, if, if you look, look, it, 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 they say the interview, uh, like that they were saying that I was defending Wilder. I'm playing devil's advocate. Like, right, right, right. You have to give the opposite side, you know. Uh, and and they, you know, again, <laughs> you know, with that topic, you are going to, you know get in trouble look look there's look the dude literally doesn't even talk to me anymore and they're they're saying the interview swinging around wild is nuts what the fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> but but there is a lot of uh you know i do see a lot of A's keeping it real i'm seeing that yeah you know what I mean? so am i so uh the real one is damn hilarious so, so i i think i see more of that more than anything you know what i mean so give it time check it out man so give it time <laughs> uh, a lot of that, no, you're right. That's a mess. No, you're right.